Ryan from Hot or Not. And Jerome from After Hours on the hottest thing on campus, Radio Heat Wave. Now, we're going to be doing something really exciting in just a bit. So, Ryan, why don't you fill us in on what's going to happen? That's right, Jerome. We're going to be interviewing a band today. This band has over 2 million global streams on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And their hit single, like 1999, is over 72 million streams, guys. That's crazy. So, <laughs> also, two time Juno Award nominees for Breakthrough Group of 2020 and Group of the Year of 2022. Their second album, Lost in Translation, comes out in just a few days on the 23rd of June and they'll be coming down to Singapore on the 10th of August as well. We are very privileged to have with us today the Canadian indie pop band Belly. Hey guys! What's up? How y'all doing? We're We're good, we're good. We're great. Doing great. We just had a rehearsal today. Um, learning all learning all the new songs on the record. Cause even though they're done, we still have to mm-hmm. practice them and learn them. So mm-hmm. it's been great. Mm-hmm. We've been just preparing for the big We're day. We're so excited. We're really so excited. We're so excited. I was excited. looking through uh, your Instagram earlier and the yeah. little snippets that you guys post out. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like, <laughs> that's great, you know. So yeah, but how's yeah. the summer coming along, guys? We only get like three real months of warm and like <laughs> nice weather here in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> so it's honestly been great. Like I think it's so crazy. Like the the first day that it's warm in the city, like everybody just like crawls out of their like shell and it's there's so much energy in the city and like you didn't realize how like seasonally depressed you were like in the winter because I mean Oh no. We live in Canada, <laughs> and like, and like, it's not it. as northern as as other places in the country, but yeah. still, like, it's we have long winters, and like, you kind of forget that you're in such yeah. a like a dark kind of the sun doesn't come yeah. out, and then once it comes out, it's amazing. So we've just like been like, just soaking it in, just enjoying mm. it ourselves. So wow, that's amazing. Oh, what about the guys? How's the summer coming along? It's been really great. Yeah. I mean, we were on tour like um, Mm -hmm. pretty much up till early June. And then Mm -hmm. we took a little time off because tour was like really crazy. So we took a week and a bit to just like hang out and chill. I went swimming, made (laughs) food at home for the first time in seven weeks. Yeah. Nice home home cooked meals, just trying to relax (laughs) and just like um, writing some music and stuff and just Mm -hmm. working on. That's working great. on things and yeah just kind of letting it flow doing whatever i want in the moment for that time off um not really planning anything and then now we're back at it back at rehearsals getting ready to do uh, a full asian tour which is going to be amazing so we're just um yeah just soaking it all in awesome awesome and kind of the kind of the same as these guys i mean you know like just kind of um relaxing post tour um you know trying to get my my batteries recharged for asia and mm. uh you know all the little things you've got coming up uh just trying to soak in as much sun as i can get while i still can you know just this just the simple things but you guys will be feeling depressed when you come to singapore because it's literally 365 days of summer every single day like summer every day. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh so. my gosh really oh my God, I yeah it. yes yeah we oh, have like most of the summer all year round. I'm gonna move there. Come here, come here. We love you uh, here. We we'll welcome Singapore. you here. Yeah. yeah, any day at all, man. <laughs> uh, before we get some of the questions, guys, now on behalf of Really Heat Wave, we just like to, you know, congratulate you lot on the release of your latest single. Right, have a good summer. Such a such Thank a part you. for me. As well as for yeah. the upcoming album as well, Lost in Translation. Like we said earlier, we're really looking forward to it and we can't wait for it to be out there on all streaming platforms. We are very excited. Thank you. Very, very excited. Thank you so much. We're just as equally excited. Um, you know, like this is uh this is a big deal. Following up mm-hmm. uh with, with another album is is not it's not easy. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, like we we enjoy every moment of, of the songwriting process and you know, everything that goes along with it, like the way that we, you know, visualize our record and like the you know, the the album art and everything that goes along with it. But you know, we we enjoy the whole thing. Mm. Thanks, guys. I mean, that's that's great. I mean, to love your job as a as a musician, songwriter, and artist. That's that's just what life's all about, you know. Yeah. yeah. Because we're from Singapore, as like we said, it's <laughs> summer all year round. What are you guys looking mm. forward to most when you guys come to Singapore? 
I'm really excited mm. to try the food. I want to explore mm. all the food and the fashion and just like experience the culture authentically, you know, like I think it, it it's very easy to be, um, it's very easy to take for granted the fact that we get to travel for our job. Um, cause mm-hmm. you know, it can be, it can be really hard. Like we're, tra- you know, half the year we're gone and we're traveling and you got to remind yourself, like I get to go to Singapore. I get to go to like all these places all over the world. I want to try the food. I want to, I want to experience the culture and everything that it has to offer and just like, learn you know and just experience really so but food food and fashion that's my that's what i'm excited for and the shows obviously but i'm excited to I see mean, the the nature like the because i know there's a lot of nature in yeah. singapore i had a i had a good family friend that lived there for a while and i heard lots really? of nice stuff so yeah yeah Whoa. they were there on like a sabbatical mm. um, and i would see so many photos and just like so so beautiful i think i'm excited to mm-hmm. see like what the land has to offer you know mm-hmm. wait the singapore airport i've seen it all over TikTok. Yes. there's like a famous yeah. singapore <laughs> airport isn't there and we have yeah. a we have a fountain vortex there's a mall inside the mall it's like the giant yeah fountain. Yeah. yeah it's so crazy i'm gonna text oh, a, gonna gonna text a so picture cool of to it see. to the to the valley group like it's crazy <laughs> it's oh so God. pretty. So pretty. <laughs> and Gardens by the Bay as well for Kara. You've seen, you've seen nature as well. I think Gardens by the Bay you really enjoy it because like yeah. the flowers and whatnot. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it'll be fantastic. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. Mm-hmm. Come on, Alex. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I will not. I mean, now I'm hyped up to see this airport. Um, <laughs> I mean, it looks yeah, like there's a lot of. It's it's funny because it's not the you know airports. You know they don't have to have like you know nice you know decor- decorative stuff like waterfalls and mm-hmm. or fountains and you know greenery inside. The bare minimum is that they're on time. You know we just want them yep. to be on time. And mm-hmm. you know <laughs> these guys yes. went yeah. these guys went over the edge. So excited to We're see so that. No, I mean you know we always love trying new food and and different cultures and you know love seeing the cities and experiencing uh, the whole thing as much as we can while we you know, while we've got the time there. So, you know, we'll be mm-hmm. looking for all the suggestions and and uh, I think just, you know, keeping our eyes peeled for things we like while we're there. That's great. We have great food. Our hawker culture has oh. amazing food. Yes. Okay. Oh, sick. Sounds like we're going to have to try it. I really want to know though, because you guys have written so many songs, right? Um, And there's so much inspiration that goes on in every single one of them. But what is the inspiration behind Lost in Translation? How do you guys uh, decide on the name? The Lost in Translation concept came almost three years ago. Mm. We wrote we wrote a song called Lost in Translation in Nashville. And originally it was about uh, these two characters from this TV show we were watching and <laughs> how they were like star-crossed lovers and that they they were so misunderstood um, mm. toward each other. They wanted the same things, but they were so misunderstood. And I think that was just kind of the classic saying, you know, like within the translation of things, something got lost along the way and they never ended up together. So we we wrote that song and then we and then later in the pandemic, we sort of rewrote it and changed a a bunch of stuff. And um, I think it started to reflect kind of how we were feeling as a band. And Mm. instead of it being about these like star-crossed lovers, it sort of started to morph into our relationship as a band and our friendships within the band and Mm. how that was sort of changing. And I think we all see that each other wants the same thing, but some for some reason things were getting lost in in the sauce of everything because everyone just kind of felt misunderstood in their own way. And I would I would be lying if I said I I I think that we still feel misunderstood. And I think that's something that you just go through as a band and like any relationship I think really goes through that where like you are there because you want the same thing. The album really is just I think a lot of it, one side of it is just this love story about who the band is and like how are these four people that fell in love with music making with each other and um, really just like muddling our way back to that and what that sort of process looks like. And I, and I don't know if we'll ever arrive somewhere, but I think mm. it's really just about like 
life is kind of this slow burn of like figuring out yourself and figuring out our relationship with each other, our relationship with music. And yeah, it's kind of just that inner thought album that, that, yeah, I think is, is really just what's going on in our head of trying to figure everything out, put mm. in lyric and melody, essentially. That's a really, really great summary and I really, really love the summary as well. How everything just comes together and yeah, the mm. finding the... The fine line between differences, I, I if I can say, mm-hmm. is, is that it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. In Singapore, we have this dish. Uh, it's called rojak. It's where everything just really lumps all together. So it's like peanut sauce. There's uh cucumbers. There's fried mm-hmm. uh dough fritters. If I'm not wrong. So you guys should really try it when you guys come to Singapore. Uh, it's, you can find. Uh, I love that. So I can be the peanut sauce. <laughs> I'll be the cucumber. Mickey and Rob can be the other oh, things. We just no. blend together to mm-hmm. make this beautiful. Dish, if you dish. will. <laughs> We'd love to see it. So the band's latest release, Have a Good Summer, is about trying to move on and finding new love. So uh, what is one advice that you guys can give when it comes to moving on? We're getting deep now. Mm, it's so it's hard. There's, there's so many things to learn, you know. I think it's really important to learn, to learn about yourself from the experience of moving on. Because our, our, we have a band therapist and he always says, no matter where you go, you're going to bring yourself with you. So it's like, if you have some personal growth to be done and, you know, it's manifested itself in a relationship, you, if you walk away from that relationship, those things aren't solved. That's just going to mm. happen with your next, with your next partner. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of learning to be done, but at the same time, sometimes it's not always right. So it's like there's, I, I think it's always good to learn, but it's always, it's sometimes it is the right thing to do. So that would be my my bet is learn from it. I need that advice. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, how about Rob? Um, advice for moving on. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been in a long-term relationship for a long time, so... Um, oh, it's been a minute since I've you. thought about this. I think Mike summed it up pretty well. I think just learn from it. I I think one thing that I've kind of started to work on is like when things happen, they've already happened. They're in the past. You know, mm-hmm. it's not like you have a time machine. You can't go back and like change something that happened. You kind of just have to like accept mm-hmm. and and move forward because there is no backwards. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that's. That's an important thing. You got to gotta always keep that one in mind. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything That's, from you? I mean, mine is sort of a more broad, I, I suppose. But this is something that my girlfriend says a lot where it's just like, if something, the things that are meant for you will be and I think mm. that's just a sentiment of like not dwelling on things that um that like like for example like if somebody doesn't want to be with you like if we're speaking in terms of relationship then like there's no sense in like holding on to that so tightly because you obviously don't want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you but I think it's just also like when people want to they will and I think it's so hard to like push people to do things that they don't want to do and like (laughs) I think letting go is just about like releasing yourself from like trying to control somebody Mm. else's wants and and needs. So it's not an easy thing to do. It's actually like the hardest thing to do, but something that I try to remember because letting go is not just for people. It's for situations. It's for personal things. Like it's anything. So yeah. But have a good summer is is definitely a song about that, but also (laughs) kind of like sticking your middle finger up to them a little bit as you drive through the sunset, you know, see you later. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sensing a recent breakup and I'm so sorry. Everything is fine. Oh my God. This interview turns Valley, into therapy Valley, session. Valley, uh, Let's talk Valley's about it. Here Let's for talk you. About- <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's not dwell on the past to always believe it's something for you in the future as well. Yeah. And Carly mentioned letting go. Unfortunately, you have to let go of you guys. With that, you know, I wish we had more time, guys, honestly. But we've come to the end of the interview. A huge thank you once again to you guys for making the time to speak to us here at Really Heat Wave. Thank you, guys. always such a pleasure. Of course. Thank you. Thank Thank you, you guys. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate your time.
Thanks so much. Great questions. <laughs> and if you guys need a summery pop pop to listen to this summer, then do go check out the Valley's latest single. Have a good summer out now on all streaming platforms. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, you're on the on campus. You're listening to Radio Heatwave. Bye. 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 Bye guys.